Hey folks, Captain Dave here. I'm just sitting here uh, in, the, in the shop, getting ready to fry up some fish. I actually have some fish to fry. And uh, that's all the way back from the day we went out and um, threw jigs and shrimp up in the river with a guy named Dan from the DZ Corporation and had some trout, some mangrove snappers, but other than that, still not a lot of eating fish going on. So as you can see, I'm sitting here and I'll show it to you. I got the, there's the cooker going. Getting ready to heat up some oil and do some fish frying. Drinking me a PBR, of course. It is hot as holy hell again. It is, uh, what is it? Thursday, Friday, Saturday the 30th. What is this, uh, Labor Day weekend? I'm going, I just got back today and I'm going again tomorrow. Hold on a second. Hmm. And uh, what I wanted to do is share with you here, I put it on my reports blog, but um, I got the papers, paperwork back right here, which is pretty nice, from the uh, Tag Louisiana program, Redfish Tagging program. Fish Tag and Release Recapture Report. From Louisiana Wildlife and Fisheries, in conjunction with CCA Louisiana, Louisiana Cooperative Marine Fish Tagging Program. And you might say to yourself, but you're in Florida. Dave, you're in Florida. Well, there's only certain states, the way I figured it out here, there's only certain states that have a redfish or whatever tagging program and um, it was pretty cool hold on here let me turn down the oil let me I'm gonna turn this down or I don't want to burn it up so oh uh, yeah there we go so um, there's only certain states with a tagging program. That's the deal. I don't know like, if it's Florida doesn't have a tagging program. So you get the tags to tag a redfish um, from Louisiana, I guess. Well, either way, on um, August 8th, out with Terry from Tennessee, Terry caught a redfish and had a tag in it. You might have seen it in one of my videos. And um, it was really covered with smuts. It had all kinds of growth all over the tag. So it was in him, I figure, pretty, you know, a pretty good long time. So we caught him on August 8th. And he was tagged, or she, we don't ever know was tagged on February 2nd of 2014 and I caught him on August 8th of 2014. Days at large, it's kind of like he's a criminal. Days at large, 187 before he was recaptured at a distance of 7.95 miles and um, it says here he was tagged in Clapboard Creek. And the neat thing about it is, if I'll hold this up, they give you a little map, see, with all the information. And of course, uh, I got the tag right here. I stapled the tag to this paper. That's the little yellow tag that's in the fish. 
Now, let me tell you something. The reason I've never gotten into the tagging is I've had redfish tags before, and they're these big plastic tags. I mean, they're like this, the size of the head of a 22 like bullet, you know? And you gotta stick, you gotta go under a scale and stick that in him, right up by his dorsal fin. Good God. I mean, I catch fish, I eat fish, I do everything with fish. But for some reason, I mean, I thought those tags, at least the tags that I used to have, were these big plasticky bullet things with, with little, you know, little flaps on them that when you stuck them and you pulled it out, it kept the tag in them. I don't know. That, it, they just seemed awful big. And then I had tags before, too, that were like a strip of stainless steel, and they're real sharp, and it was almost like a harpoon. It went in, and then you pulled on it when it pulled when you pulled it out, pulled out the little tagging stick. It would leap, it would go in and pull it back like a toggle bolt, you know. I mean, it would hold it in there. So I was never really. I was like, oh my god, that's a little much, isn't it? How about a little like little staple thing that just goes in his dorsal fin. I mean, that's what I would think. But um, a guy named Randy Hume, he caught the redfish and tagged it up in Clapboard Creek, and I recaptured it 187 days later, 7.95 miles from where it was caught. I caught it at the end of the North Jetty, when, or I didn't catch it, Terry caught it <coughs> at the end of the North Jetty. This makes about the fourth redfish that I've caught that's been tagged. Literally one time I caught a redfish that was tagged in an area called the, the Little Jetties in the St. Johns River. He was tagged at the Little Jetties. And I recaptured that fish at the Little Jetties. Um, Randy here says that the, back on February 2nd, the redfish was 30 inches. And I measured them with the pinch the tail method, basically. And he was 31 and a half inches. So even if you kind of get away from the pinch the tail thing, the fish grew at least an inch um, in February, March, April, May, June, July, and a couple days of August. So that's six months and some dates and some days. And if you notice, this right here. You get a free hat. Well, they ask you what you want. And I said hat. Pretty damn nice hat, you know. Got the uh, tagging team thing on the back. And it says tag Louisiana with a picture of the tag on it. So I got a free hat. Hmm. I think last time I got a free hand towel. And I put it up in the boat. And it blew out of the boat like this first or second day I had it on the boat. So, if you catch a tagged redfish, I mean, cut the tag off. It's got the phone number on it. And it's got, there's the yellow tag right there. It's got a 1-800 number on it. And it's got an ID number. And you just call in and give them the ID number. And as they did with me, they said, we'll give you a call back. And a gal came from Louisiana, gave me a call back. And um, I gave her the information. And then what you get is you get the little report in the mail. And a free tagging hat. So, I mean, it's not a bad deal. Um, I don't know what they use it, this information for. The... The girl even said to me, 
on the phone that most of the time these redfish don't go very far. From where they're tagged to where you catch them is not really that far away. Evident of the one that I caught, uh, that I remember last time. Last time it was little jetties of the St. John's River, and then I caught them at the little jetties of the St. John's River. So um, they don't go anywhere. You know, I mean, they don't go too far. So, um, but I thought I'd share that with you. Well, I'm having a PBR, and I'm going to do a little fish fry in here. And then I go out again tomorrow. And let's see, I might go out again on uh, maybe Tuesday or Wednesday. Today, uh, I'll give you a fishing report for today. Uh, very slow, very compared to the last video I did where it was really rolling. I don't know if you saw it or not, and you could tell. Woo! Uh, guys weren't feeling, they weren't feeling that great, at least one of them. And today, one of them wasn't feeling that great. An ocean was a pond. But three out of five trips that I do, somebody is usually seasickish fishing at the inlet. I don't know. I don't kind of get it. I mean, we're going to Lake Atlantic, right? But um, either way, things were kind of slow today compared to the other day when we had the 27 pound redfish, we had the shark, uh, we had croakers, whiting, jacks, mangrove snappers. Today it was tough to even catch a mangrove snapper. And uh, we didn't have any sharks or giant redfish at the jetties. I hear, you know, of course, yeah, the big reds are down the river. I just find the river fishing so kind of boring compared to the inlet for some reason. But uh, that's the story. Thought I'd share you redfish tagging program. If you ever catch a tagged redfish, just clip it off of them. That's all you do. I took this and I just clipped it off. Right, flush with his scales and just left the, the harpoonish part in him and took the tag and um, wrote down, you know, and called in on the number here and everything. So I don't know what it does. Like I said, I mean, redfish don't go very far, so I don't really know what the heck's going on here. But some people are tagging fish, I'm just not one of them. I don't know. I don't feel like taking a nice redfish. I mean, I've already caught them and everything. Yeah. And sticking that big giant tag in his back. Well, I don't know. I just, that's sort of the reason why I kind of got away with, away with it or away from it. And I used to have all kinds of tags to tag fish. So. Alrighty. So this is your official Labor Day report. Of what's going on? Hopefully, it's going to get better. Next week, we have got, what, the new moon or the, or the full moon, and we are going to have some god-awful tides. Because, of course, it's going to be September next week, and here comes the big, big tides near the moons. So if you're thinking about booking a trip, you need to discuss it with me first. So we can discuss what's going on and we can look at it and see what the deal is with these tides. Because we're get it, you get in and around the moon now and things start to get a little kooky. Uh, I think we're gonna have damn near a six foot from low to high or high to low or whatever the hell, tide height. We're going to have six foot in the St. John's River. So, I'll, uh, maybe I'll show you my Zatarans Country Fish Fry Trout and Mangrove Snapper when it's done here. All right. So, next is eating some fish and drinking PBR. I got chum. Chum for humans. Oh, baby.
fresh fried fish.